subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Hello everyone. Today on Lady Mary Bath, we're back at Wham! Resale. That's West Houston Assistance Ministries, where your shopping benefits the community. Can't wait to take you along and find some great treasures together. Join me. Wham Resale is located off of Westheimer near the Beltway. It's a great shop to add to your thrifting list when you're out and really a good afternoon outing with friends too. And they've got clothing, handbags, we're not really focusing on those today. Anything tabletop, furniture, and a wonderful bookstore in the back. It's always great to be back at Wham and they do have specials. We've checked the board as we come in and most of the store is 50% off today with some exclusions. And since this is not part of the boutique giftware, it's half price. This is Haviland Limoges in the apple blossom pattern. Let's take a closer look at this. And the dishes I'm probably not going to get today. I do have some Haviland. It's an excellent price at half price. Wow, that's about $115. And Theodore Haviland, love that bag stamp. And there are quite a few pieces here and they do give us a list, which I think is very helpful when you're shopping. You can get a good overview instead of having to count and everything seemed to be in really good condition. The apple blossom pattern, and it lends itself to so many different looks. I see a soft blue, pink, green, and of course it's a cream background. You could add that to any kind of neutral color and also pick up on those wonderful shades. Made in America. It's always a good idea to look down below when you are thrifting. You find some of the best items hidden in plain sight. This is the Theodore Haviland Apple Blossom pattern. It is half price today, and that's actually quite a deal. The Haviland Company started in the 1840s by David Haviland. They were importers of fine porcelain and originally got their products from England, and then they discovered Limoges. Hotel and restaurant wear is durable and actually a great idea to add to your tabletop collection, especially if you are looking for something that stands the test of time, maybe just for every day, perhaps if you have a weekend home or maybe setting up a college kit. And it's not all white, even though you would probably assume that from this, we're going to see some beautiful designs. And this, for example, has a double gold band. And if you're serving a hearty meal, such as a stew or chili, especially this time of year, I can see that to be perfect in one of these rimmed soup bowls. And I always like to turn it over to see if I can find some detail. And it is Duraline hotel wear. It's super vitrified made in England. Of course, we all know vitro porcelain in German and vitrified porcelain in English, but I've never heard of super vitrified. And this fruit design would be perfect for breakfast or brunch. Really like that look to add to your white dishes. It is Farberware. And it's the orchard pattern. And it's nice that it's also oven proof. This looks like the 80s or maybe early 90s with that pastel modern floral look. It is century stoneware. So many different varieties here. It's not always about the fine china, but look at the detail. Isn't this a wonderful look? I would say it's probably turn of the century, but it's probably newer, maybe based on one of those designs. Sterling Vitrified China from Ohio. And with half price today on most of these items, it makes it a great deal. There's so much to find, and I encourage you to maybe lift some of the plates, look underneath, because you might find something of interest, or maybe even an antique piece. These glass dishes would be perfect for a luncheon, a shower, and especially if you're looking to use something that maybe is not your fine china. Punch bowls are plentiful at thrift stores, and there's so many uses for these. This is the Indiana Glass Company grapes pattern. Originally, there would have been plastic hooks to place the cups around, and at $8 today at half price, that's a deal. I use mine for chips, fruit salad, and even chilling champagne. So many useful pieces that you find here, and not just plates, and as you've already seen, the punch bowls. 
Let's take a look at the variety that they have. Of course, we've seen the Indiana glass. Here's one that's placed in a chafing dish. My mother had this same pattern. I grew up with that. It was used at all of our birthday parties. And I like that fluted design too. It's nice because it's not so wide, doesn't take up space. There are actually two Indiana glass punch bowls. And remember that the cups can be used individually. We'll see some more in just a minute. And I think if you look at a punch bowl with a pedestal stand, the bowl itself, the ladle, and the cups, you have many different uses. I ran into a viewer today, Jody, and she's got some great items in her cart and a wonderful plate. Tell us all about it, Jody. Well, I was attracted to the colors, first of all. And then when I flip over the plate, I realize it's a Courier and Ives reproduction. And it's American series. So I just love the pastoral scene and the colors. And I think it'd be pretty on an easel. Yes, I love that. And you got some things here. You've got an angel and a figurine. Tell us about these. Well, this just reminds me of childhood. It's just so simple but sweet. I think it's supposed to be your first Christmas or something to that effect. Love that. And then this angel has seen some better days. <laughs> She's had a wing chipped. <laughs> chipped and clipped. And I think you're going to give new life to this angel, right? I think, I think I'll give her a new home. <laughs> I felt sorry for her and she's so pretty and being Schmidt I thought it was a good manufacturer and nice. German like brand. Her. That's right. Glad that I got to meet Jody today. She was actually on the way to the hairdresser and popped into Wham and of course got to find some great things too. This smile plate has the new sticker on the back would make a good gift and the saucer 50 cents today. I see possibilities to make some jewelry. And always lift things up because you never know what you'll find underneath. I'm loving this blue and white look. It has some history to it. And as always, we turn it over to find out more about the manufacturer. It's from the Kingdom of Thailand. That is a great plate. And, you know, I love silver plated trays and especially square. This one is in great condition. It's $5 today. And in the South, we often put a name on the back, but I wouldn't use a marker on my silver plated tray. And I'm going to take that home today. It is Gorham in the heritage pattern. And I'm going to gift that to my daughter's boyfriend who is starting to collect items for his household. Look at that pig cookie jar. I have not seen that before. Lots of odds and ends, and it's always a good idea to take a look. I see the fondue server from the 60s and 70s. This is a chafing dish that's made of tin or aluminum. It's not the silver plated heavy look. It's actually extremely lightweight and I haven't seen one of those before in that particular style. Always look at the end caps because you never know what you'll find, whether you're at Goodwill or at a charity resale. Sometimes if you dig, you might find some great things. And I see some Delft inspired items. This is made in Holland. It's $2 today, and that is a votive candle holder. And you could do a lot with that just to add some interest to your table. And here is a brass candle holder. It's kind of bright and shiny. It's more metal instead of brass, but it has the look of that. And I especially like the blue and white and it's weighted on bottom. Candle holders are fantastic. I do have a lot in my collection. Here's a triple candle holder. Look at that. I can stand alone on a table. It has the Bohemia sticker made in the Czech Republic, but let's turn it over. It's from Ross 799. I didn't know that Ross sold Bohemian crystal. How about that? And here's a double candle holder that looks to be vintage or perhaps a reproduction. And today it is $4. That would make a great gift. And it certainly can stand alone. I have a double candle holder on my fall table right now. It is inspired by the one that I presented last year on the channel. You can take a look at that segment. And on this aisle, lots of baskets, vases, mugs, and beverage glasses. And you never know if you'll find something that is of great value or perhaps goes with your pattern. Always something to find. And when I am presenting a gift basket for one of my charities or maybe a birthday gift, Christmas items to take to a neighbor, I always shop resale. I don't pay retail for baskets. And there you have a liner that comes with it. You could certainly take that off and wash it. And definitely you save lots of money by thrifting baskets. This is a utensil caddy, and you can dress up that center holder with some ribbons and cover up the blemishes, and it's $4.50 today. And Jody has found a patriotic ornament for me. That's really neat. 
and the price is right, it's 50 cents today. I'm definitely going to take that home and maybe create a patriotic tree. Here are some punch cups. I don't think that they match the other punch bowls, not that they have to, but keep in mind these can be used for individual servings of fresh fruit, for even a chocolate pudding, a soup. You could place that on a luncheon plate. And these square dishes are so sweet. I think I have one, but I have a viewer who has some really good ideas for using these on a table. Lots to discover here. This is a Mikasa Christmas tree pattern bowl, and that's $4 today. You got a great gift. You could put a candle in the center or something interesting, gift it, and um, Christmas shopping on a budget. This bubble pattern, I have a vase that matches that. I just love it. It's so fresh and it's $1.70 today. Lots of great glass items here today at Wham. You might recognize this dish if you were on the Lady Mary Beth's table on Facebook where you can showcase your thrifted finds and your beautiful table settings. Mark Rogers uses this as an individual salad plate and that looks absolutely beautiful with his settings. And this is an American press cut glass pitcher in the pineapple design. My mother had this and I use this for syrup when I serve pancakes and waffles on the weekends. And I have to take this Delft piece home for $1. It's a coaster, but I have plans for this. I actually dropped it off at China Baroque and I'm having a pendant made in an oval shape. We have isolated part of the design. I am going to be in store October the 6th. If you'd like to join me, if you're in the Houston area, go to ladymarybath.com and sign up. This is a double back stamp. It is not only Haviland Limoges, but it is actually hand painted by Haviland because frequently one company would provide the porcelain, another company would embellish it, or perhaps some of the ladies would paint their own china. $125 for 63 pieces. I'm thinking you could just use the dinner plates and maybe the saucers could be for a cookie or brownie for tea time and a great fall look. And this Wedgwood pattern I think is so neat. It's $5 today for each cup and saucer. Wouldn't that be a great party favor? If you're having a ladies luncheon, this Chinese teal pattern with the gorgeous back stamp could be at their place setting. You could even use it to serve the tea or coffee and they could take it home and have a wonderful memory and use it for their morning tea. Such a beautiful pattern. And collector's plates you often find, even at Goodwill, and this time they have lots of different ones. Anything from the wild animal theme to nature and hummels. And if you have a friend that maybe leans towards one of these, maybe they collect hummels, then you could certainly gift them a single plate. I probably would not buy the whole collection for a gift. Lots of collector's plates here behind me. This you might recognize as a Hummel figurine that you've seen before, and it is M.I. Hummel, and that is the century plate made by the Danbury Mint. It is a numbered item, and it looks like we have the whole collection here and on sale for $10 each. Bata Hummel was inspired by everyday German life. You see a village in the background as the children are ringing the bell. Some really neat depictions of everyday life. And this piece would be, of course, great for serving, but I see possibility to create an entire jewelry wardrobe. That's on my mind, of course. And a great serving plate to be found amongst the collector's plates. This has a beautiful back stamp of Rudolstadt, made in Germany. It's a company that's been around since the 1700s, and in the late 1800s, they merged with New York pottery to bring some beautiful items to the market. In the boutique section, there's some really beautiful items, cut glass, crystal, and some silver tea services. There's some items that pique my interest here. This particular lead glass bowl is Anna Hütte Bleikristall from Germany. And how do we know this? Because it has the sticker inside. Of course, you could also use Google Lens to source it. And today it is $30. I'm wondering if it's part of the half price sale. If so, $15 would be a steal. And this would be a nice compote bowl for serving berries with your dessert or brunch. And even for a floral centerpiece, a great item. This would be a great fall centerpiece, even filled with fresh fruit. It reminds me a lot of the Hofbauer birds. You might have that in your collection. And I'm thinking it could have been made also in the Nachtmann factory. They did make a lot of different brands, including Tiffany, Marquis by Waterford. There's that beautiful sticker, Anna Hitte Bleikristall, that gives us all the information we need today. And this piece, you may recognize the pattern. It's something that I see a lot in antique shops and sometimes in thrift stores. 
and perhaps you even have this in your collection. There's a lot to discover here, and of course it helps when you have that information. Crystal Accents, $8. If the sticker has a 9-9 on it, which this one does not, uh, then it is excluded from the sale. Those crosscuts remind me of the Bally Shannon from Waterford. That's $10. Triple footed vase. Very sweet. You might recognize this pattern as something that you've seen before. It is made by the Anchor Hawking Company. It's the early American Prescott glass pattern. It was made in the 1960s through the late 70s. And it's actually a punch bowl stand. Can be used separately, of course, as a bowl or a vase. And another reason that punch bowls are so useful with their parts and pieces. These cognac glasses are very special. Do you see that etching, the Edinburgh Castle? They're $50 each. I doubt that it's for the pair. And it's got beautiful detail there with those cross cuts. And look at that foot. It almost reminds me of Waterford, but yet you can tell it's a bit different. And there's Balmoral Castle. Of course, that's the Queen's summer residence. Victoria and Albert purchased that. And that's become a tradition. Look at that etching made in Edinburgh, Scotland. Those are exquisite. And let's see if I can give you a better look at that design. It might be hard to see with the lighting. Look at that detail. And etching is also an artisan process. Someone has to create that design and then it has to be etched. Here's a single candle holder. And we have some information on it. It's the Serenity pattern from Linux. You see that beautiful etching there at the top. And that's $4 today because it's not a 99 on the sticker and I like the modern twist to that and this depression glass you might recognize that's the Madrid pattern has sort of a square look and some neat pieces you can incorporate just think about adding that to a neutral color or even if you had blue and white transfer wear that would add some interest this hand-blown votive holder is a dollar twenty and I like the fall colors I'm taking this home to add to my fall display inspired by my video last year. And you may want to take a look at my fall table and buffet setting. This bonbon dish is definitely something of interest. Let's take a closer look and see what we can learn about this piece. I'm always in the market for a silver plated dish, especially one that's in perfect condition. This is a lovely piece from Reed and Barton, and we have the sticker on the back that tells us the company, but there's also more information. The pattern number 1201, which I believe is Bel Air, and also a marking with a letter A encircled by a C, which tells me in my research it's from 1945. A bargain at $5 and some beautiful Linux pieces. I think this is probably from about the 1930s. You can tell by the back stamp. And it is probably half price because it's not a 99 on the number. And that makes it a bit more affordable. That would be $25 in the scallop shell design with a gold edging. And here is some of the Linux creamware. It is quite a staple, I think, to have in your inventory to have a neutral base, not just crystal. And of course that Linux back stamp and some beer signs. That's really fun. I think if you're having a rustic table, you could even place that there with your forks. It doesn't have to be just for drinking. And this picture I'm thinking is quadruplate. I can tell by the look. And perhaps that was made for using on a ship because it is sort of squatty. It's Glastonbury plate. It's $25. Arthur Court. That's a great serving piece. And of course the salad servers you wouldn't use for that, but you could use it with any bowl. And there are two pieces there. And that is 45. And it's half price today. That bonbon dish definitely has some pitting. And this pierced piece I think is interesting. I'm assuming that they go together, even though that looks like a chip and dip. I'm thinking perhaps there was maybe some hot water placed underneath to come through that piercing to keep a food item warm. Benedict plate, and that's $7. That is an interesting item to add to your tabletop. Have not seen that before. And here's that press cut pattern again. This is, I think, perfect for a banana split. Perhaps it was made as a celery dish. I do see this piece often when I'm out thrifting. And wouldn't these be great for dessert or even a chicken salad if you're serving ladies luncheon? So many uses for these dessert dishes. 
Here's another silver plated dish that is in this square shape, which I absolutely love. It's also Reed and Barton, has the model number 1023, and Shannon is engraved. That must be the pattern. It's in great condition, and I can see so many uses for this. Another great gift idea. You can fill it with something wonderful or wrap it up by itself, and you've got a wonderful gift for $7. Lots of colorful items here in the lighted glass display. I found wonderful things here over the years, including an icy blue Jeanette Glass Company harp cake stand for my friend Carrie. It was a nice birthday gift. And these juice glasses, I think you could even mix with clear glasses, add some interest to your table at $1.50 each. That would certainly add interest to your breakfast table. Crystal Dark, this bud vase. That would be a good gift. It is not hand cut. You can tell that it is pressed. It's not a bad price. This has a look of Balik, but it's actually Linux. And that's a bit high at $50. It's not half price. I would pay maybe 20. And this shell votive is so classic. I don't think it has to be just for summertime. It's $3, so it'd be $1.50 today. And that would add interest to maybe a side table or an entry table. And of course, we found a compote, one of my favorite vessels. Lots of uses. I always say to look down when you're thrifting. Sometimes you find the best items on the bottom shelf. Here's a beautiful European cut crystal compote. It's $19.40. I'll have to find out if it's half price today. And I featured this in a recent segment. So many ways that I use compotes in my home for serving for decorative purposes and also just to elevate an item. It is my number one tabletop essential. Let's take a look at the other side of this glass display. Some unique glasses, modern, and I would say some more vintage. And if you're hosting a dinner party, you need some extra beverage glasses, this would be a really good shopping spot. This is a single one and it is hand cut with an intricate base. I did find another one, these are 250 each, so you could have a pair of modern martini glasses and a lovely bamboo etching on these. I have a Noritake pattern I acquired at Upscale Resale in the Dallas area. I will link that video above. And this would be perfect with those dishes at $1.50 each. And look how many glasses you have here. I definitely wouldn't go to a department store if I'm looking to expand my tabletop. I would shop resale. At $4 each, these gold rimmed crystal glasses look like Linux even some detail on the stem. And if you have an intricate china pattern, that would be a great addition to add some elegance and not overpower it. These Mikasa candlesticks were inspired by Bakara Messina. They are Mikasa made in Germany, $4 for each, so eight for the pair. And that means it was prior to 1989 to be West Germany. And here we've got just kind of a mixture of items. I do like to look through just in case I see something of interest or value. This blue and white vase was made exclusively for Garden Ridge pottery. And at 350 today, you can't go wrong to have a vase on hand for some grocery store flowers. And this modern wall candle holder is certainly an interesting piece that is brand new with a sticker and it is made in Portugal and it's $2.50 today. That could go in an entryway. And this cobalt insert I'm more interested in than the whole piece, $4.50 with the sale. And you could take that out, place that in the center of a platter and have a really great look. This is milk glass in the grapes pattern, but it's not the best quality. You see it is slightly opaque. It's not that solid white. For $5, that would be a great centerpiece bowl. And here is a medley of items, and this I think would be a great cookie jar around the holidays. I didn't take a look at the base to see the brand. It's probably made in China. It's $5 today. This oval footed dish I think is probably a vintage piece with pressed glass, intricate design. And I'm thinking that would be an interesting item to add. And this chair reminds me of the 60s. We're going to take a closer look at that. And you know, a lot of set designers do shop resale to get the mid-century items. 
Wham has furniture from all eras. This mid-century rocker is really neat. It's $30. They frequently have half price on furniture, so you might want to follow them on social media. And it's nice to have an authentic piece if you are collecting mid-century items. And of course, Hollywood could come calling. Lots of neat pieces here at Wham. Lots of eras represented here. And with so many styles coming back, I think that's a good opportunity to shop resale. And in these cases near the front register, they have some unique items and some autographed footballs. There's an NFL football too. This is a Bear Bryant. And I think if that is a player that you follow, Lavelle Edwards, then that would be worth a lot. They might feature these online. It is for local pickup only, the um, small assortment that they do share with their online store. And some really unique finds too. Have lots of great donations from the community. And these milk glass Snoopy mugs are neat. Some are from the presidential collection and a couple of them are going for $50 each on eBay. My favorite two for one dish, this covered vegetable, has so many purposes and of course you take the lid off and you've got two different vessels and let's take a look at that stamp it is gorum and each of those symbols means something and that's the neat thing that you can research when you're out shopping this is actually a cigarette holder it's a beautiful pattern you could even make a pendant out of that it is minton bone china from england 15 dollars in the marlowe pattern and even that back stamp can be saved to make something beautiful. And they do have some jewelry, sterling silver earrings. I have found James Avery and Jeep Collins here over the years and sterling clip-ons. This bow I think is interesting. That's a pin and it is sterling silver, but I don't believe that that is a citrine. I think they're unsure of it as well. I think that's more decorative. I found some sterling handled servers here, actually just about two months ago. And I paid $5 for each. Cake servers, serving spoons, meat forks. You never know what you'll find. And they even have tea sets. Look at this Fenton glass. Isn't that gorgeous? And the emerald green with the silver crest ruffled edge. That would make a really nice addition to your display, tabletop. And it is $50. The crystal here, they've got some really nice brands and quite a variety to share with us. This looks like Royal Dalton at first glance, but I think that we looked at Google Lens and it is Crystal Dock. The Waterford Crystal Butterfly. It's $80. It does have the Waterford sticker, which you know I always remove, and the SKU sticker on the back. Looks to be in perfect condition. And they also have some Lismore stemware and they do a great job of sharing the history and all the information. They've sold most of the goblets, ice beverages. They have sherry and liqueur glasses. And you know, it takes 14 hours of labor to produce each one of these. And this looks to be European. I think that we have a green set in Germany for schnapps. That amethyst waterford vase has a little bit of damage, still a great piece. And these items are featured in their online store for local pickup only. A Murano square dish. Beautiful crystal basket. And I'm really liking some of the metalware. This is one of the original Wilton Armatel pieces. Lots of detail that you don't find in the ones made in China today. And this double ice bucket has some handles that can be easily decorated with ribbons. I have a Mariposa ice bucket that I use even for chips when I'm serving especially for parties. Another Murano glass piece, opalescent. And if you've ever been in Murano near Venice in Italy, you'll remember the prices are quite high. I prefer to buy my Murano stateside. Lots of furniture and look, we even have some surprise silver plated items in the furniture section and vintage glass. Really like this cyan blue. I'll talk more about that in just a minute. It's a great pop of color to add. And the furniture selection changes often. They even have an organ, which I shared with you in a previous segment on Wham. Look at that red couch. And there's also jewelry. We didn't take a look at that today. This silver plated tray is intricate ornate. And look at that design, International Silver Company. I didn't find a stamp on it. I just saw the sticker. And it looks to be in really good condition. Even if it's not in great shape, you can put 
a cloth over it and use it in so many ways. This chessboard I'm thinking is from Mexico. It has kind of a Mayan look and it does not come with the pieces. And if you're a chess player, that would be a really neat item to add. And these are some of my finds today, the patriotic ornament, of course the delf that's already being made into a pendant, and some silver plated items. Lots of great items to be found at Wham. Look at this Indiana Glass Company blue fruit bowl. It's got a gorgeous design inside. It is $12 today on sale. And I'm taking home the silver plated square tray and the two bonbon dishes, along with a beautiful piece of delft. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Bath. Elevate your everyday with resale shopping.